On today's retro spot, we're going to be having a look at Inhumanoids MagnaCore. Um, MagnaCore was the one that protected or imprisoned Metlar. Um, and how did he do that? I'll get into that right in a second. Uh, MagnaCore was voiced, I apologize, I don't remember the voice actor's name, but he was voiced by the guy who was responsible for Serpenter's voice in G.I. Joe. So that was a little, uh, that's interesting enough. Um, in the way of the figure itself, there's not really a lot to say in this, in this mode. Um, MagnaCore consisted of two, two individuals. There was a, I guess, a positive and a negative pole that were two people, and then they could merge together to form MagnaCore himself. Um, so this is the combined mode of MagnaCore. Um, you can see it's seamed along the edges here. Um, in this mode, there is no articulation to speak of whatsoever. We basically just got a, I mean, we've just got a shell. That's all he is right now. He, he's similar to a pretender, a transformer pretender. Um, so he, he serves no purpose in this mode. However, you can actually separate the figures like that. And what you end up with is you end up with a interesting character and you end up with a shell now this isn't the shell guys this I mean this is the figure um, the idea that MagnaCore could separate into two two polar opposites um, and what they did was the arms can bend and, and the legs can bend in, in this figure um, MagnaCore would stand on either end of, of Metlar and the the energy that they could produce was enough to imprison Metlar so he couldn't go anywhere. Um, these guys always I mean these guys were always um, on guard. They never left because they of course had to hold Metlar together. Um, and then when the Inhumanoids strike or, or attacked um, these two guys got uh, I don't know if they got separated or, or they got distracted and their polar energy uh, couldn't contain Metlar anymore and he broke free. Um, but he was a nice figure. He he was nasty. I mean, he he had a temper to him. He was arrogant. Um, I guess you would be arrogant for, for someone who is saving the world from this, this monster Metlar and the Inhumanoids. But, um, yeah, I mean, there's not much to say about this figure. Again... This figure, this one is is nice. This one actually does do something. Uh, unfortunately, the other end of MagnaCore is just, you know, I mean, you could, I guess you could bake a cake in there if you want, you know, a little small cake, a little MagnaCore cake. Um, but uh, that's the price you unfortunately had to pay. Instead of getting giving us two figures, they gave us a figure that could merge, but one had to be sacrificed for it. But uh, there you have. There you have a retro spot on MagnaCore. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please stay tuned for the additional uh, Inhumanoid figures I'm going to do. I still got the two vehicles I want to go through. And uh, you guys have yourself a good day, and I'll see you guys next time.